couple of modifications that I made to this winch is these keyhole sliders. Um, these right here. These are for 5 16 chain. They don't work very well with 3 8 chain. Of course, most of my chains are 5 16 but I do have some 3 8 chains that I use when I got big stuff or I got to pull on something hard. The other thing is, too, is when you got a pair of gloves on, you got to fish the end of the chain through there. You're wasting a bunch of time. The other thing I uh, changed is I put these on there. They're a draw bar hook. I'm, I actually ordered two more. Um, reason being is just to demonstrate, you know, you winch the, the log right up. There you are, you're done. You don't have to feed it through the end. And from the factory, you can tell by my finger, they didn't cut these grooves deep enough. And if you look underneath, which we're not gonna do, um, they can go another quarter of an inch deeper until it hits the reinforced edge. And they didn't They didn't do it. Um, so what happened that a lot of times was, I'd put the chain in there and then I would turn and it would pull the chain out and slide right out and I'd lose the log. Uh, you do that three or four times in a day, you lose 15, 20 minutes every time you have to stop and get lugs. So this you can't really do a whole lot with. This is so that you can use the cable as a choker, which never recommended, ever. Um, but you can't take it off. There's nothing you can do. So it's kind of nice there. It helps protect the end a little bit. Um, but... Uh, you could always put a chain through there and put a bolt through, you know, a link of the chain just to keep things in there if you wanted to have three of these. I did order three eighths keyhole sliders so that way I could put two more up here um, and actually have a full cable and have the, the four on the plate. Um, unless you're, if you're just getting log length, um, it's not so bad. But if you, you've got full trees, you don't want more than two on this cable anyways, really only have about one red pine it doesn't really make much difference it's so light you could probably pull three or four on the cable and it wouldn't even affect it um, but that being said you're pulling hemlock and hardwood you probably only want one or two on the cable really one but you know depending on what you have and then you know you can put as many as you want on the bottom as many as you have tractor to pull um, safely so that's uh my modifications also this back rack works great hang your fuel can your oil off some bungees works good they bounce around a little bit as you can tell by that can but it's a good place to store them kind of out of the way um, you're not pulling anything up that high so you know and this rack works great for hanging your chains keeping them up out of the box you know um, the box does have slots in the bottom of it to let things out let the you know mud and snow and water and everything out but even still the amount of stuff that gets collected in a chain you know just look at right in here when that freezes it's pretty tough to get your chains apart without beating them with a hammer so i just like to stretch them out like that um it's, it makes it a little bit more organized for me in my opinion um and uh yeah that's it for the winch
Sorry about that. Um, just sizing logs, kind of the most chorful part of logging. Um, chorful, not cheerful. Um, it's kind of boring, you know. You just kind of look down the log and you can see where I cut, you know, where there's bends and flares and different things uh, to make the best in the straightest saw log you can. Uh, and that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to size up the rest of these before I call it quits for the day.